Token Stork Index, tokenstork.com, on cash tokens, on Bitcoin Cash. Guys, my name is Vlad, and on YouTube I go by Vlad the Prophet. I talk about cryptocurrency, primarily Bitcoin Cash, and a few other things if you're interested in checking that out. But in this video, we're going to be covering Token Stork, tokenstork.com. So essentially, it's like a coin market cap. It is a market cap index for all the tokens that are created on the cash tokens network of Bitcoin Cash. So as you can see here, uh, it shows the leaders. Um, I don't see an option to where you can, oh, actually there it is. You can adjust their highest volume or lowest volume. So we can see that for example, Cauldron Sox has the most volume, <coughs> excuse me, and we can trickle it all the way down um, to, you know, the lowest asset this way, uh, or the lowest in uh, TVL. So the index has the token name, the ticker, the price, and again, all these are adjustable circulating supply, max supply, market cap, TVL, and the token category. So for right now, it's just like a, you copy the uh, the token ID or the hash, um, and you can import it, for example, like if I want wrapped Bitcoin Cash, you could go to Cauldron, and you can find it easily that way. Um, but, one thing that's interesting, and actually I'll point it out a little bit ahead of time, um, is on Token Stork's roadmap, they are looking to integrate uh, an option with Cauldron so that you can simply click to buy. Um, but <coughs> jumping a little ahead of the gun, so these are some of the main players. As you can see, Token Stork is tracking 34 different assets tells you the BCH price and it gives you the fear and greed index which is 64 bitcoins a little bit uh, up this week so naturally everything is going to be going up um, the gun CMC we were around 50 so um, interested to see if this is the same number as coin market cap um, but anyway so we can see the different tokens so the cauldron socks for example is like what you can get from um, <coughs> from cauldron uh, then you have all these other different tokens I'm sure you guys will recognize like Zapit, Litecoin is the native token for Celine wallet created by Jeremy and Kalisti or the Bitcoin Cash podcast and Kalisti um, follow those guys they are incredible and they keep you very up to date um, with with Bitcoin Cash and new developments and happenings all around. Um, but then you got some meme cash. We'll obviously we'll recognize BCH Argentina. Guys, we got my tokens listed, Spooch token. And we can see here it has a, a, to, a, a total volume of uh, $793 and with a market cap of a whopping $2,073. So we're, uh, you know, making some headway. We're uh, pretty, uh, pretty high in the rankings of the 33, <laughs> of the 33 tokens, but uh, 34 tokens, sorry, but still very early on, still very early on. And tell you what, if you comment down below, comment down below spooch or hashtag spooch, or I don't know, something spooch related, I will send you over some spooch tokens. So, that being said, um, this is the yeah the the main page of Stork uh, Token Stork, and and then it has some different uh, social media um, <coughs> links where you can follow um, Bitcoin Cash site. You can follow BCH Cash tokens on Reddit, and then this is just a kind of like breakdown of like what certain um, uh, su certain abbreviations mean in uh, in terms of numbers like uh, up here when you see like M, T, M or whatever but I think uh, it's pretty common knowledge 
We also have an option to uh, donate to the Flipstarter for token store. You can click pledge now. It's not really functioning there right now, but uh, the Flipstarters are really done through like Electron Cash and um, the Flipstarter websites. So, um, and maybe the link's just not functioning right now. So that covers the main the the main uh, you know purpose for token store, but they do also offer you know a few other pages so you can learn a little bit more about cash tokens for example uh, they have links here how to mint your first cash tokens on Bitcoin cash and your first NFTs understanding and working with BCMR so BCMR is just a, a cash tokens um, token or NFT I guess too as well uh, you could say so yeah and then here is just understanding the metadata like that's like the back end like editing the token or the nft and then this i don't really know what it really means but you can create an nft ticket and warrant cannery with cash tokens parsable nfts so for you more techie guys or maybe just this isn't as obvious for me as it is for everyone else um that is available there too so that's um some nice you know features to be able to Learn a little bit more about cash tokens. Good to see the roadmap. So the roadmap is, <coughs> excuse me, uh, roadmap is pretty well put out there. To, uh, token Historic aims to be a market cap website for Beach CH cash tokens, which it already is, uh, but also aims to be a comprehensive service provider for on-chain cash tokens operations and data. Working with cash tokens should be smooth and easy and tokenstart.com aims to make it that way. So as we can see here, there's different levels of the updates uh, for the 0 0.3 server side data. You can see that they want to set up a database to store token data and speed up page loads. They also want to load the website from the server instead of the client side APIs. On the point four version, uh, they want individual token pages. So they want to add detailed individual token pages with data, news, socials, recent tokens, transactions, number of holders, etc. And then this is the cool part again that I already mentioned earlier to incorporate the volume price change stats from Cauldron and also add the buy buttons that link to Cauldron. They also have um, an, a 0.5 version where they want to add NFT tab, an NFT tab with NFT collections, recent mints, number minted per category, floor price on tab swap, number of unique addresses, etc., and links to buy on tab swap. Uh, they also want to add individual NFT collection pages. So not only are we working with tokens, but NFTs as well as in the horizons. Accessibility. Uh, we want to add themes, light and dark mode, optimize accessibility, optimize SEO, optimize loading time, expand header data, uh, add token search bar, add tags on tokens. And then I'm not going to go too far into the rest of it, but um, you get easily fungible tokens, token management and tracking, the front page, um, we have BCMR, forming business, tracking growth, expanding opportunities, social tools, monetization, and marketing. So uh, Token Storks seems to have quite a lot in the horizons. And then simply we got an about page too so you can see that uh, Token Stork is a market cap site for Bitcoin Cash Cash tokens built and maintained by George Donnelly. You can find him on Twitter. Um, and, as, and on Reddit as well as I believe. Uh, this code is open source. You can review the pending issues or roadmap. I welcome suggestions, criticisms, bug reports, and general feedback at any time. Let me know what functionality would be of assistance to you and I will probably add it. So they seem you know, very open to any kind of criticism in terms of like what can make the index more um, functional and better. Uh, so that's always good to see and then just some other basics so on and so forth so again just kind of circling back we got the uh, the different cash tokens here and you know you can 
create your own cash token too on cash token studio then you can trade it on cauldron and then you can track it with token stork um, the wallets that are best used to create your own token or buy tokens i use Paytaka, uh, cash and eyes and i'm not yet using selene because selene has not integrated cash tokens yet but they are great bitcoin cash wallet i highly recommend them i highly recommend cash and eyes as well and Paytaka. But I've been using these two interchangeably because uh, simply they are integrated with cash tokens. You can create the cash token, then you can see what position, um, or sorry, you can see your tokens live, and you can also add liquidity, which I've already made a video covering that. Um, and beyond that, then you can just track the data with uh, with token store. So. You know all different angles but everyone's kind of coming together to make this cash tokens community flourish and make bitcoin cash a more expansive ecosystem so in conclusion if you create a token or if you want to track other tokens uh, on the uh bitcoin cash cash tokens network check out token stork tokenstork.com you can find them on twitter and that is a wrap so if you like this video I do tend to make my videos on the fly. I don't rehearse them. Um, I just kind of go and, uh, you know, open up some tabs and start talking and see what comes out. So if it's been a little choppy, hope you guys understand. But, uh, you know, I, you know, run a business full time and this is what I do in my evenings to kind of bring some light to cash tokens. So if you appreciate that, give me a sub, give me a like, and I'll catch you guys in the next cash tokens video.